Hello everyone, hi. <laughs> it's me, Chineze, and tomorrow is October the 1st. Okay, okay, party. <laughs> I don't know what's your what's your what's your what's your memory of October the first from when you were young. I mean, I, I mean, at some point it was a celebration time. It still is for me, by the way. Like I'm gonna be out here cooking nah, and trying to do something fun and all that. But interesting things that you can do tomorrow. I wanted to tell you a beautiful book that I think you can read this period. And this that is <laughs> the Nigeria of My Dream by Samadhi. Samadhi is the pastor to the church I go to but he wrote this book I think in 2010 and I read it in 2012 but I just remember feeling like the first time I the, the, reading this book was the very first time I ever felt like um, Nigeria being what I wanted to be was dependent more on me you know I think I don't think it can ever be overemphasized the control you have over the things happening in your life you know that whole victim ah this is how they did us this is how we are trust me that's a lie a big lie okay the truth if you want something to change, you're gonna to have to change. You're gonna to have to change it yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you, and that's what this book did for me. Um, I think what this book introduced me was a word, change agents. I had never had change agents before, probably because I wasn't the most exposed at the time. But I hadn't heard the word change agent before until I read this book, and I realized that you have to be a change change agent in whatever sector you're in. Either it's in, in the marketplace, or in the political space, or in the education space, or in the science and technology space, or in the other entertainment space. Oh boy, you need to be a change agent, and that's what this book did. So this book was like a, it's like a fire up. Do you understand? And I would advise every single Nigerian, or not Nigerian, to read this. It's a very great call to action to do the best that you can for whatever situation you're in. I'm going to be reading a small. I love I love the last paragraph of this book. Let me read them. Honestly, I think that um, anybody, everybody should read this book. <laughs> At least this period, read it. For God's sake, it's our it's our the first of October. Come on. Read it. Okay, so from the last paragraph I'm going to read. Um, then join the company of new... Sorry, let me go back. Okay, start in your lit own little way. Model the new Nigeria. Then join the company of new Nigerians evolving all over the nation as we compel change in our attitudes, legislations, and practices. In a few years, this country will be the envy of other nations. Now, that you have read this book and you have chosen to join the company of change agents history makers and history makers the change has begun nigeria is succeeding oh boy when i say call to action this is the book i'm telling you every everybody should try and read it it's, it's available on conga you can get it on conga.com or you can check out um you can go to family first bookshop at um, a3c kosi road Oregu. Now, I don't know whether Oregu is in Ikeja or not, but Oregu Sha, if you know Oregu, if you're in Lagos and you know Oregu, try and get this. But if you're online, check out conga.com and try and get this book. This book is a bomb. It's really nice. So, what did I say before? Tomorrow is October the 1st. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nigeria. I don't know why I'm so excited by this. Happy birthday, Nigeria. <laughs> okay, so, another interesting thing that I, I do every October the 1st is um, attend the platform. Um, there are different ways to attend, thank God, because a lot of knows I would have missed after I gave birth to my child. After I gave birth, I, it was hard for me to go with her. If I carry her and go, I'm not going to be able to hear much. Even if I end up running after her the whole time, there are a lot of things I'm going to miss. Now, the platform is an initiative by Covenant Christian Center. It's an initiative that basically looks to promote and, um, and think about, that's promote and discover new ways to make the Nigerian political space a better space. Talk about business. Talk about science. Talk about talk about everything. Anyway, and this the year. Uh, this is our eleventh. This is going to be the eleventh. Called eleven point zero. It's like the eleventh of the series. That's eleventh of the ones done in October the first, which is going to be tomorrow. And really, I think if you're in Lagos and you can go, please go. It's it's always always awesome. Please go to the platform. You can register. You have to register online to go. You cannot just go. You have to register online to go. Um, is that Ikomu? That's um, near the National Arts Theatre. How how symbolic is that? It's the National, National Arts Theatre, and it's going to have a lot of interesting people coming. The theme, though, is redesigning new. What was that? Redesigning new. Oh no! Redesigning the Nigerian economy using new ideas. I knew that new was there. Uh -huh. So, redesigning the new Nigerian economy. 
<laughs> we designing the Nigerian economy with new ideas. <laughs> anyway, I'm just here talking rubbish. Sorry. Yes. So it's basically I'm gonna sit down and talk about um, the interesting, uh, interesting new things that can be done to redesign the Nigerian economy. But they are looking at it through the eyes of politics because contrary to what a lot of us might believe, all of us are affected by politics. Politics creates policies that help us. If they wake up one day and say that something is gonna happen, you will be surprised how it's going to affect your business greatly. Everything in your life, it will affect the school, it will affect so like why you want to stay at me, I don't care about boys, I don't you you have to care. In fact, if you like don't care, they will just be making decisions on your behalf. That's what will just happen. There are some people, other people are making decisions on, on your behalf. So anyway, if you're gonna to come to the platform, I think one of the things you're gonna gain is you're going to come up, you're going to it, it, it's very thought provoking, it makes you think about new ways that you can evolve and change the situation you're in. Because in the end, Nigeria is at home. If we don't change it, do you get so we need to come up with great ideas to make our economy work and come in first of all the host is of course Pastor Kojo Oyemade okay he's the host of the program but then coming is our very own VP okay Professor Yemi Osebacho okay okay <laughs> that excites me so much like I've never heard him I've never been somewhere that he spoke I mean, I'm not even going to be there physically this time but I've never been I've never heard him like you know speak about something like this before so I think it would be very cool to hear him and He's pretty sound, so that would be good. Then, of course, the governor of Lagos State, <laughs> Governor Babajide Shomolu, is going to be here, so that would be so cool. And then, of course, His Excellency Peter Obi, okay, he's going to be here too. I've heard him, he's been to the, the platform before, actually. I've heard him speak before, and the guy is like, I mean, you've heard him speak, the guy is the bomb. And then, Dr. Charles Soludo. Now, if you don't know who Charles Soludo is, I'll just tell you. Turn to the, the 10 year as in anybody that is 10 years older than you that is Nigerian, ask him who is Charles Soludo, and they're going to tell you what's up, okay? The man is, he's very someone's brain is hot, his brain is hot. The guy, the guy understands the Nigerian economy very well, and he's going to come up with great ideas to help us make this country work. So, yes, that's it. So, two things I think you should do <laughs> this, uh, this uh, Independence Day, okay? Number one, Nigeria of my dreams. Number two, attend the platform. Now, if you cannot attend physically, if you're not in Lagos or you're not going to be able to come at all, try to attend online, okay? There's going to be the platform available on, um, I think it's um, the platform NG on YouTube, and then it's going to be streaming on several social media platforms. So you just check it out. Okay, yes, it's also going to be live on national TV. That's true. It's going to, I, I don't remember, I don't know what TV it's going to be, but it's going to be live on national TV. So just check it out and you'll see what it is, okay? So have a beautiful Independence Day, okay? <laughs> have fun, okay?